We've talked a lot about shape, getting the right shape. Now, of course, we have an opponent here, and this opponent is going to be moving in different directions, and it means that either I change the direction of my opponent, or uh, I've got to wait for my opponent to move in the direction that I want him to go. Much better if I gain control of this, but the shape of the technique, whether my opponent is moving backwards here, the shape of the technique, the shape of the Tayatoshi, has to be the same. Whether it's with the moving backwards, whether it's with the moving towards here, or whether it's with the moving to the side here, the shape of the technique has to be the same. And this means that the Kazushi and the Suruti and the action-reaction for the technique has to be controlled and it means that they all have to be working at the same time here so that we can get this equal balance between the legs. This equal balance seems to be the key. If the surety hand gets caught behind, then we haven't got the right shape. It will pull us out of shape. This hand here, just one half a degree behind, and it will start to pull all my weight down onto this leg here, which then means that either I need more momentum in, or in order to get my opponent over, or it means that my technique will collapse. So I don't want it to collapse. So first of all, when we build up for shape here, it's everything working together, adopt the right shape. Get the right shape, uh, feet pointing in the direction that we want to offload, head looking in the direction that we want it to go, and we need to practice it, of course, with our opponent walking and moving here in different directions and we need everything working together. Shape of the technique, Tayatoshi, elbow needs to be ready to offload, Kazushi hand needs to be working with the Suruti hand and of course when we end up in the position doesn't matter what movements we've used in order to get the feet into this position, all right, we make our own adjustments. But when we actually uh, land into the technique here, the feet are fairly equally balanced, hips are engaged, hands are in the right place, and then we're able to offload.